it's almost the weekend, which means it is almost time for Game of Thrones. I'm so excited. I'm really hoping that I like this season. The first episode, I mean, it was alright. They have to, you know, establish what's been going on and everything since the last season, which is fine. I understand that. Um, I'm hoping that this next episode is going to really start getting into the meat of the season because, oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready for like fun stuff or not fun stuff because there's probably going to be a lot of people dying, but um, the good stuff to happen. Oh my God. I'm so glad that the Hound is back. I know he came back last season. So if you are, you know, caught up with last season, then there you go. But I'm so glad the Hound is back. The Hound is like one of my favorite characters. I just love him to death. He's so like gruff and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is about him. I just love the hound. There's this the scene where okay, and it's not this is not this is not from this season, but in like season four, the scene where Arya leaves him. Oh my god, I love that scene so much because the actor who plays him, God, he's that was such a good scene. The way his eyes look. Because his oh, he's just like begging her to kill him and oh my god, I can't help it. I just love I love that actor and that character. <sighs> he's so good. He's so good as the hound. I just love it. Yes, I kind of have a crush on him. But apparently he is very um he's he doesn't like the attention that he gets from playing the hound. Oh, I was showing my mom what the hound looks like because and I showed her what the mountain looks like and everything. But, um, because she doesn't watch the show. As I've said before, I don't want her to watch the show. But, uh, yeah, so I kind of showed her a picture of what the hound looks like and what his brother looks like and everything. And then, um, I was trying to look up information on, like, how tall the, uh, the actors are. And so I was like, okay, so this guy is, like, six foot whatever. I don't even remember what, how tall the guy who plays the mountain is. Some ridiculous number. And, or maybe he was seven feet tall. I don't even know. I don't know. He's giant. He's so freaking huge. But, um, and then of course I was looking for, um, how tall Rory McCann is. I was looking for how tall he is, which he's like six, six, something like that. I was thinking six, seven, but six, six, I think what it was. And, um, since I was looking for him, it like popped up like recent news articles and apparently he got pissed off at some guy who came up, some fan who came up to him and was like, oh my god, you're the hound! <laughs> and while he normally, you know, is okay with that, he, he was just sick and tired of it. He was just trying to eat breakfast or something and somebody came up to him and he was like, f*** off! <laughs> Which just cracks me up. Cracks me up. It was like, I know he's not the hound, but that is something the hound would do. Anyway, so I'm I was watching, when I was watching Game of Thrones last week, it gets to the end of it, and you know, Danny shows up at Dragonstone, and I'm like, wait a minute, it hasn't shown Danny all, all, um, episode yet. This is, oh no, this must mean it's the end of the episode. I couldn't believe it was the end of the episode already, because I was just so into it. Gosh, the show. Katie doesn't watch it, so she doesn't understand what's going on, and I'm trying to explain stuff to her, and it's just awful. And then, of course, it showed the previews for next week, and I, or for this weekend, and I didn't even really get to pay attention to the previews, because she was asking me stuff. <laughs> so she was like, so, is that wolf, like, a recurring character or something? <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't even pay, I wasn't even able to pay attention to see what wolf it is, because I just assumed it was Ghost, because that's the only dire wolf that's left in the show that, you know, you know, all the other ones have died. <sighs> but, um, I didn't even realize it until I started checking Twitter and people were like, oh my god, Nymeria is coming back. And I'm like, holy crap, that was Nymeria, wasn't it? Because that wasn't Ghost. But I didn't have a chance to, like, pay attention to it. Oh man, so Arya and Nymeria are going to be reuniting? See, that that's going to be awesome. <sighs> and I really want... There are so many things that I want on this show to happen this season. I want all of the Starks to find each other. Oh my god, and what was with Ed Sheeran? That was just the weirdest thing. <laughs> just the weirdest thing. She walks up, she's like on her horse, trotting up to this group of soldiers, and there's freaking Ed Sheeran 
and there are so many memes about it right now and it cracks me up especially the one where he's like where he's dragging Bran Stark around and he's singing when your legs don't work like they used to before and that cracked me up when the first time I saw it oh my god I laughed for a full 10 minutes probably because it's just so funny to me I don't know why it's terrible because Bran is crippled but it's so funny I can't oh my god I can't <laughs> oh man so yeah I'm sorry I know a lot of people hate Sansa that she's like their least favorite character but she's one of my favorite characters and I think it's because if I were in that show if I were a character in that world I would probably be well I would probably be like some <laughs> scullery maid or whatever but that's I would probably be Sansa if I was, like, highborn. The girl who's always, like, daydreaming about knights and fair maidens and all this stuff. That would probably be me. And I think that's why I like her so much. And it really pisses me off that people are like, Oh, but she's the, she's the reason that so-and-so got killed or whatever, you know. She's a little kid. She was a little kid. She didn't know what she was doing. But then people don't get pissed off at Rob Stark. Oh no, Rob Stark is, oh, he was the best. Rob Stark was like the best character. Yeah, yeah, he was the best character until he married someone else and got himself killed and got his mom killed and got his men killed. And you know what? That was a stupid move on his part, but people don't get pissed off at him. It really annoys me that people hate her so much. And yes, she did do something in the last episode that kind of annoyed me too, because I'm like, Sansa. You idiot. Would you stop? Could you and John just discuss this stuff before you have a meeting with all of the heads of the houses? Because seriously, it looks like you're undermining him. And you don't need to do that. Oh my god. But that whole thing with like Sam. That, oh my god. It was so gross. That whole thing with Sam and his stuff at Old Town at the Citadel. I mean, gross. Gross. I do not need to see poop, okay? I do not need to see that. <laughs> oh my god, that was like a torturous scene. It was so gross. I gagged several times, I believe. Katie happened to look up at that point and was like, what the heck is going on? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that was gross. But Jorah is there. And he's starting to turn into a stone man. But he's there. And asking about Danny and our friend zone. I mean, poor guy. Poor Jorah. I love him to death, but my god. I feel like Danny is still kind of leading him on, though, especially the last scene that they had together where she's like, just get yourself better and come back. Or what? I don't know exactly the words. I'm sure it didn't sound anything like that. But basically, go find a cure for yourself and then come back to me. It's like, yeah, and he's gonna come back to you and you're probably gonna be like, winking some other guy and he's gonna be like oh, but, but I love you Daenerys Stormborn oh. so I guess I could talk some more about Game of Thrones and put this in with the um, with the other Game of Thrones stuff um, but I don't really know what to say I did watch last night's episode <clears throat> and I, I really want Littlefinger to die soon <laughs> I, I don't like him I just don't like him. I used to like him, but I don't know. And I like the actor who plays him. I just don't like Littlefinger anymore. And I think it's mainly because, I mean, I know, yes, he was like one of the reasons that um, Ned Stark was killed and everything. But also, um, I was kind of glad that he got Sansa out of King's Landing. That was cool. Uh, that was good. But um, also, he married her off to Ramsay Bolton, which was bad. Oh my god, did he not know? I think he knew. I think he knew how bad it was, and he did it anyway. Despite the fact that he loves her. No, he doesn't. He loves her mom still, even though she's dead. And he is just projecting that onto Sansa. And that is not cool. Okay, the person in front of me. <laughs> the person on the passenger side has their hand out the window, and they're doing that thing. So, that's kind of fun. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so, yeah, I I don't like him. I, I'd i be happy if he was gone. 
and I think he's just gonna keep trying to create a rift between Sansa and Jon, and I'm hoping that Arya shows up soon, because she's on her way to Winterfell now. Thank goodness, thank goodness, we're about to have another Stark reunion if she makes it there, and I'm excited about it, and um, yeah, uh, hopefully she will take care of him, that would be nice. Um, I'm wondering when Bran is going to get there. I want, I'm hoping that Bran and Arya get there around the same time. And the only thing is, Jon's not there anymore because he's gone off to Dragonstone. So, um, is he going to get back before everything, all everybody like converges? I don't know. Probably not. And I'm really hoping that the Hound shows up with uh, Beric Dondarrion and uh, Thoros and all of the Brotherhood and everything because that would be awesome. Um, if they all just showed up at Winterfell. Oh, man. And then Brienne is there. And Arya will be there. And then the Hound will be there. Oh my gosh, those are like three of my favorite characters. Right there. All in the same place. Man. And I don't know what's going to happen with uh, the whole alliance between Danny and um, Dorne and... Uh, Yara and Theon because of what happened at the end of last episode. Um, that was bad. Euron Greyjoy is, oh my god, the worst. <sighs> okay, he's not the worst. He's not, he's not Ramsay Bolton. So, I mean, yeah. But I still don't like him. So yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen with that whole thing because, uh, Danny was kind of counting on those armies and now what's gonna happen? So I guess I'll stop talking about Game of Thrones stuff. <laughs> I can't help it. I like the show. It's one of my favorite shows on right now. I don't watch a lot of TV, actually. I mean, I watch I watch Game of Thrones when it comes on. I normally watch The Walking Dead, but I don't know if I'll keep watching it. It's kind of... It's kind of lost its luster, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, they still, they, I'm still kind of annoyed at the whole thing with the end of, not last season, but the end of the season before, where it was like, who's gonna die? Oh no, I don't know. It's like, just, why did you stop it right there on that cliffhanger? I mean, really? Really? And then, of course, when it comes back, it wasn't even really that big of a surprise, because it's like, okay, yeah, well, they both died in the comic books anyway, so, all right. And then it was kind of like, why did you keep that one person alive for a couple more weeks just to kill him off? I don't know. So I don't really like... I'm, I'm kind of annoyed at The Walking Dead. But, um... <clears throat> yeah. Plus, I have a hard time, like, keeping up with shows if they never have... If they never seem to end. If it's like, okay, this is gonna go on forever. I have a hard time keeping up with it. I just kind of drop it, usually, after a couple of seasons. So, like, with Game of Thrones, I know that there's there are only, like, two seasons left. Which I wouldn't drop that one anyway, because I, I just like it too much. But, um... <clears throat> How long is The Walking Dead gonna go on? Who freaking knows? I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. But then, like, I used to watch Smallville, like, years and years ago. And I watched a few seasons of it, and then I was like, eh, can't be bothered to watch any more of this. I don't even know. I guess it's not on anymore. <laughs> I would assume it's not on. But then, like, Supernatural. God, that one's been going forever, too. And I used to watch it. I watched, like, the first couple of seasons. Like, first three seasons, I think. And then I just gave up on it. And then I went back and I tried watching it again. And I watched the first three seasons again and then I stopped because I was like, I'm bored. <laughs> I don't know. So, um, yeah. But, um, yeah, I may give up on The Walking Dead soon because I've been watching it for however many seasons it's gone so far. And it's like nothing ever happens. I mean, they have this formula. It's, okay, we found a safe place. We're going to stay here. Then a bad guy comes and takes the place from them. And then they kill the bad guy. And then it starts over. Okay, now we've got to find another safe place to go. And so they go somewhere else and they find another safe place. And another bad guy comes. And it takes over their spot, whatever. And then, yeah, it's the same thing over and over and over again. And it's kind of monotonous and I don't like that. So, um, yeah, I'll probably give it up. Uh, I may give it one more season and then just be like, eh, whatever. <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't even care about any of the characters. It's like every single one of them could die. Every single character on that show right now could die. And I would be like, eh, 
Now with Game of Thrones, I still care about the characters because if one of them dies, then I'm gonna be, well, not necessarily upset about it, but it's gonna be like, oh no, that was like one of my favorites and stuff like that. But yeah, with Walking Dead, I don't even care anymore. I don't even care. It's like the big scene where they killed like the two, like two big characters and I'm just like, meh. Okay, they're dead. And everybody else is like, oh my god, this is terrible, this is the worst thing ever. I'm just like, eh. Whatever. So I'll probably end up giving it up. Once I stop caring about the characters, it's, yeah. <clears throat> There's not really much reason to watch it anymore.